The fact is that her better chances are if the noise died down. How do you answer that assertion? Because they're talking about Vladimir Putin, obviously, when they're bringing that up. What do you say to that? I would say to them that we tried silence at the beginning at the request of this government and it didn't work. That's what I would say. The answer is very simple. And I would also say to check your bias, because if the if it was an athlete who did not look like Brittany, who played in a male league and they were just as much of a superstar, there's no way we would be quiet. There is not a chance that we would be silent. And so that's what I would tell folks to one, check their bias. Dang, Brittany. You finna go to jail for a long time. This video is brought to you by Candace Owens, brand new documentary, The Biggest Lie Ever Sold. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, finally, somebody then came out with a documentary exposing BLM. You are going to lose your mind. When you find out how Patrice Cullors and them actually spend the money off the bodies and dead bodies of black men. They made this fuss about George Floyd. They raised all this money. George Floyd family didn't get a dime. You will find out more in Candace Owens' new documentary, The Greatest Lie Ever Sold. It is a Daily Wire Plus exclusive. So you got to go to dailywire.com forward slash Tatum. Dailywire.com slash Tatum. Download the, the, the movie today. I'm telling you, it was one of the best movies that I've seen. And the only person out right now exposing BLM is Candace Owens, her new documentary. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Brittany Grinder. I call her Brittany Grinder because she's going to be in there grinding for nine years. Brittany's uh, 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 case was dismissed. Let me say this. When I say case was dismissed, I'm sorry. Her appeal was, was uh, dismissed, rejected. Let me give, without the superfluous stuff, I think it's absolutely absurd that Brittany Griner has to do nine years in prison for what she did. It's absolutely absurd. However, uh, 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 this is in Russia. Remember, you know how the black people complaining, including Brittany Griner, America, the, the flag never represented me. It ain't no freedom here. I'm a kneel for the national anthem. Now you finna kneel in the Russian jail. Y'all always bashing America, and but you don't realize that other places don't give a flying flip about you. You won't do no criminal justice system in America is bad. You won't do no time for no vape pen. You go to Russia, they give you nine years. And here's the thing that, that bothers me about this, is that people are saying that she's wrongfully detained. It's our platform and the opportunity to shout out a very special member of the basketball community. Brittany Griner's birthday is today. She's 32 years old. We want to continue to let her name be known, and we pray that it's been 243 days since she's been wrongfully uh, incarcerated in Russia, and we hope that she comes home soon and everybody's doing their part to get her home. There is a difference between an excessive law in another country than wrongful detention. She's not wrongfully detained. She, she, she pled guilty to this. She tried to appeal to, to at least, I guess, present the fact that it was an accident that she didn't know that the stuff was in there and maybe they'll lessen her sentence. But they said, go F yourself because we don't care about black and brown bodies over here. And so they sentenced her to nine years. President of the United States, Stephen Curry, all these nut jobs cannot be honest for 30 seconds about Brittany Griner. We can all admit that it's successful for nine years. But an American hating Bigfoot it's kind of like you you read what you sow. You talking all this noise about America now, now? Is America good to you now? Do you wish you was back home? Uh huh. You want to be back in America where they treat you good? Oh, uh, okay, okay. They don't care nothing about Bigfoot over there in Russia. Let me read a little bit of the information here from the article. It says Russian uh, court rejects Brittany Griner's appeal uh, for her nine year uh, prison sentence for drug possession on Tuesday. The court ruled to uphold the sentence. Hand it down to the WNBA superstar, WNBA. Nobody watches WNBA, but I guess they call them superstars. However, in a ruling, the court stated that the time Grainer uh, will have to serve in prison will be recalculated. <laughs> this, this is the worst part right here. It will be recalculated, and they'll give her credit for a pre-child time. <laughs> 
This ain't funny, bro. You know how much credit they gonna give her? A day and a half. <laughs> so she gonna do eight years minus, she gonna do nine years minus a day and a half. At first when I read this, I thought they were gonna like do a year or something. Now she's gonna only, they only give her credit for, for a day and a half. So she gonna, she, w nine years minus one day and a half. I think she probably could have just kept that day and a half. I don't think it'll make a difference. But anyway, I'm really not trying to be funny because it's horrible that she had to spend as much time in prison over what she did. But I think that it's, it's absolutely stupid that people in America cannot tell the truth. Don't lie on the girl. It's wrong. We all know it's wrong, but don't lie on her. You ain't got a lot to kick it. She did what she did. Hopefully other athletes will learn that you can't go over in other people's country cutting up because they, they don't treat you black people like they do in America. They love you in America. In these other countries, they'll send you to jail. That's what it happened. Anyway, comment in the comment section. Do you think I'm tripping in my own or something? Like and subscribe to the channel. Go get Candace Owens' documentary downloaded on dailywire.com forward slash Tatum. See y'all in the next one. I'm out.